Hi, this is Christina Doherty with Christina Doherty and Associates here at Long and & Foster, and I am super happy to be here with Amy O'Rourke, and we are going to talk to you about what's going on in the Northern Virginia market this spring. So Amy, what are you seeing in Fairfax County as far as year over year? Well, this year has been a little crazier than last year, so we're 22% down on active listings. So we have a lot less homes being sold, um, and they're being sold even quicker. They're being sold 19% quicker, less days on market than they were last spring. So last spring was really crazy. This spring is even crazier. Great. Um, in Loudoun, we're actually seeing the same thing. Uh, we have 22% less inventory and homes mm -hmm. are on the market 18% fewer days. So both counties are hopping. Um, so let's talk about buyers. If you're a buyer in this market, in this spring market in Northern Virginia, what, do you, what should you expect? Well, you are going to be in a competitive situation in most homes. The homes that are presented well, um, most people, there's you know five and six contracts on a lot of the homes that are showing well. Oftentimes, people are waiving the home inspection. They're doing it for informational purposes only. Um, most sellers are not offering any kind of closing cost assistance. Um, and if you're going over lists, sellers are typically asking you to waive the appraisal, at least in the portion that you're over list. So it's, it's very competitive, um, but it's doable. I mean, we're doing it every week, so it's, it's a good market to be in. So a lot of buyers, when I meet them in open houses, they've told me that they have written offers on five, six, seven properties and haven't gotten any of them. Is that your experience with the clients that we serve? No. I mean, I think that sometimes you might hit one or two houses before you're going to get it, but a lot of it has to do with your relationships in the industry. A lot of it has to do with your pre-approval. There's some programs where we're pre-approving, basically having the loan underwritten. Um, before we're actually finding the property. So um, you can be prepared and you can get that house you want. Um, you just have to get all your ducks in a row and put your best foot forward. So we can help with that. Yeah, and I think having someone help to guide you so you don't have to go through five, six, seven losses before you have a win is right. super important. And right. I think that's why you would hire um, a realtor, especially uh, realtors that have a lot of success in that. It'll take a lot of the stress out of it. Well, yes. What about with sellers? What so with sellers, we're definitely seeing that sellers are um, in a great position. They are able to um, really choose out of many oh, offers absolutely. that have uh, you know lots of strength. So, um, but a lot of these sellers are also buyers in this market. So I think they've learned during the sell process how aggressive they need to be for the buy process. Um, open houses have been super busy this spring. Um, it is not uncommon to have 25 mm -hmm. to 35 parties come through without agents. Um, I'm seeing a lot of agents as well showing properties uh, during open house time. So um, just just a lot of energy out there, and there's a lot of great homes, um, mm -hmm. but we don't have enough of them for sure. Yeah, still, we need some inventory. We do. We're still seeing about 30 to 45 days on closings, and uh, rates are expected by the end of the year to be about 5%. So although that's really good in the realm of a 40-year loan cycle, um, with the average rate being much, much higher, uh, this is this is scaring a few people. So they're out there looking to see what they mm -hmm. can what they can find. So that's what I think. Yeah. That's our update. It's a fun um, market. It is a little crazy. <laughs> I say buckle up. Buckle up. Yep. But we can help. We hope you found this helpful and informative. And please don't forget to subscribe. And we'll keep bringing you value.